but we ourselves are perfectly well situated in Krishna's service. Huh? The last seven years, that's all we've been doing. Maybe not perfectly, maybe not very effectively, maybe we haven't, you know, done anything big, big. <laughs> no uh, big temples or no big anything. Huh? It's just very small and like that, but we like it that way. It's okay. So we feel that we're upholding our promise. We're spending the rest of our life from the time that we realize that, you know, this is really an issue. We're spending the rest of our life in preaching work and, and in community building and like that. And when I look at the, uh, the situation, you know, that, that Krishna has created around this, I'm very, very satisfied because what it means to me is that Srila Prabhupada, his promise to me is being delivered by Krishna. You know, just like, just like Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj was talking with his father. His father was saying, you know, where is your God? What are you talking about? And Prahlad says, God is everywhere. And so uh, Hiranyakashipu says, is he in this pillar? Prahlad says, well, of course he is. And so Hiranyakashipu smashed the pillar with his sword. And then well, who jumps out but Nursinghadev, the half man, half lion incarnation. And then later on, Nirshinghadev admits, he said, I appeared just to uh, make good your promise. Uh, because he says in Bhagavad Gita, he says, my devotee is never vanquished. He says, declare it boldly, Arjuna. My devotee is never vanquished. Well, why does he have Arjuna declare it? Why doesn't he declare it himself? Uh, because people believed Arjuna. Arjuna was the brother of King Yudhishthir, who, whose reputation was that he never told a lie in his whole life. See, all the Pandavas were like that. They had Vak Siddhi, whatever they said came true. So Krishna had Arjuna declare that my devotee is never vanquished. Huh? Why? Because Krishna himself will uh, uphold the promise of the devotee. Another, another example from Mahabharata is uh, when Bhishma made a promise that I will get Krishna to pick up arms. I'll get Krishna to take up arms in this fight. Krishna had, had vowed, no, I'm not ever going to fight in this battle. I'm just going to be a charioteer. So Bhishma made a vow, I will get Krishna. So he fought Arjuna so ferociously that Krishna became angry and he jumped down off of the chariot and picked up a, a, a chariot wheel from a broken chariot and he was rushing towards Bhishma. And Bhishma just threw down his bow and arrow and stood there and said, yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> You see, Krishna considered Bhishma's promise even more important than his own promise. Krishna considers his devotee's promise even more important than his own promise. So if the spiritual master is pure devotee of Krishna and the spiritual master promises to deliver the devotee, or in my case, the way I took it was, I'm making a lifetime commitment to serve Srila Prabhupada and ISKCON. And so my idea that what Srila Prabhupada was promising was that I would have a lifetime position or a lifetime uh, maintenance in ISKCON. Srila Prabhupada took care of all of us. It's amazing what he did. Huh? He took care of thousands of disciples. 
housing, food, medical, everything, you know? So um, now I look at the situation because, you know, I haven't worked a day in, since 2001. I haven't worked at, at, even at my business or, or anything. And yet, right now, right this moment, we have more assets than I've ever had in my whole life at one time. So I have to say, this is Krishna. This is Krishna. What, you know, what other explanation is there that, that, that this is Krishna? This is Krishna reciprocating for Srila Prabhupada because Srila Prabhupada made a promise to take care of his disciples. Uh, and we made a promise to serve him. And now we're serving him. So even in Srila Prabhupada's absence, Krishna is taking care. You see, this is the eternal promise. The disciple promises to serve the spiritual master, to serve the mission of the Lord. And the, the spiritual master promises on behalf of Krishna to deliver the disciple and to maintain him and protect him. Paritranaya uh, sadhuna. Uh, that Krishna descends simply to protect his devotees. That's his main reason. He's, that's why he says it first. Uh, he says, oh, and yes, by the way, I also demolish the demons. But first, he says, I come to protect my devotees. So his first reason for coming is to protect the devotees. And uh, Krishna appears in the form of his holy name in Kali Yuga. So we're experiencing this directly, personally, that Krishna, because you know, what are we doing? We're just picking up our Madanga and chanting a few minutes of Kirtan every day. Maybe we do Vishnu Sahasranam, you know, and, and then we stream it out on the internet and we upload it to YouTube and a few people watch it couple hundred people maybe watch it, you know? I mean, we could probably, you know, in terms of reaching lots of people, we could probably reach more people if we just went on the main street of downtown Pukan and did Kirtan, you know? <laughs> but we're lazy. <laughs> so we use the internet. Uh, well, actually, thousands of people are watching our videos. We, we have more than a thousand views on YouTube every day. And that doesn't count our blog. Huh? And our blog is getting streamed to views, V-U-Z-E dot com, I found out today. It's getting streamed to views and it's getting streamed to, uh, what's that other one? Um, um, I don't know. There's a, there's a couple of like video, online video channel sites that that host our videos. So we don't know how many hits they're getting, uh, but probably you know, hundreds every day uh, in iTunes and so on. So we have so many sources for our material. And uh, so many, many people are, are hearing this preaching. Many people are hearing the kirtan and uh, they're getting to see us, you know, do our best to represent Srila Prabhupada and Krishna. Well, you know, we're not very good at it. Uh, we don't really have the uh, personal qualities of, of leadership and so on. Um, actually, I'm just a musician, and I'd like nothing better than to just sit in the back room someplace and, and do record music. But um, the situation is, is not... Uh, such that I can feel comfortable with that. Uh, I promised Srila Prabhupada that I would serve him and I would serve his mission and I would serve Krishna. And specifically, I would serve Lord Chaitanya. And Lord Chaitanya's mission is to spread the chanting of the holy name. So we're trying to do that somehow or other. And uh, it's going along, you know, slowly. 
Uh, we're not very expert, and so uh, it's, not, it's not going very nicely, you know, but somehow it's going along. And uh, anyway, just because of that, Krishna is taking care of us. This is amazing. Huh? He's taking care of us very nicely. So the conclusion that we have to draw is that the, the only reason he's doing that is because of the promise of Srila Prabhupada. Uh, because certainly our qualifications, our, uh, the results of our work are not so impressive. Uh, we're, we're not, uh, you know, getting thousands and thousands of students or anything like that, like Srila Prabhupada did. But somehow or other, we're trying our best. Uh, 